Hey guys, welcome to Paige Genesis Room. So today I'm going to be filming you guys another foundation review and first impression. I'm really excited about that. I just ran down to the store and I noticed they're actually redoing all of the um, makeup area in my makeup store. Not my makeup store, but local grocery store that I ride my bike to. And they have this on the little platform. And I was like, and there was none there, and I was like, oh my goodness, do you happen to have that in back, or do you have that? She's like, it's brand new, we haven't even put it out on the shelves yet, we're not planning to for a little bit, but let me go tell um, one of my helpers it, to look back there and see, because I explained to her, you know, my YouTube channel and stuff, and, um... <clears throat> I was like, eek, I'm so excited, and it took her a good, like, 15, 20 minutes to get this product, so do you guys know if this is yet? Um, but yeah, like I said, it took her a good, like, 15, 20 minutes, that's why it was so long, and, um, she came back with it. Now, there are only about four to six color selections, I didn't look at it exactly because there was just so much going on. There's not very many color selections, which is really a downer. I am at 10, 1, 10, porcelain and I was in between the 110 and the 120 and I probably needed the 115 but she did not have it or at least she had it but she couldn't find it so make sure your drugstore takes your makeup back I say this almost on all my foundation reviews but make sure you do I did and she said with a receipt it would be no problem so that's made me happy <laughs> um but let's go ahead and show it Yay! I am doing the Fit Me Maybelline New York Shine Free Gel, or is this gel? Yeah, I think gel foundation stick. I have no hope for this. I do not have high expectations for this. This retails for $7.99. If you guys hear talking and stuff, my window's open. This retails for $7.99, and yeah, that's about it. Um... But yeah, I do not have high expectations for this because it's a stick. I don't know. But like I said, I am 110 porcelain. This is what it looks like. It's got an open it up. It's just like a lipstick. And you're getting probably about a tablespoon to two tablespoons of foundation with this. So what I'm going to do is use my Maybelline New York, in honors of it, face primer. I'm going to go ahead and start that. And like I said, this foundation is supposed to be shine free. And um, so that's nice. And that would be so nice in the summer. I have a feeling this foundation is going to be a little light for me. Um, <clears throat> but like I said, my, uh, my store will take it back. So I may just have to wait until, you know, it comes out. Um... But we will see. This looks like it will be nice, so nice in the summer. And then all I'm going to use probably is just a beauty blender, maybe some concealer, and a little water bottle to wet down my concealer, or wet down my beauty blender. Alright, so what I'm going to do is start applying this. I'm not going to put concealer on so that you guys can see the coverage, at least on the first side of my face. So let's go ahead and zoom you guys up. Alright. And let's start putting this on. This is so weird. Actually, it's looking like it has really good coverage. So I'm just going to go ahead and wet down my beauty blender here a little bit. I have slippery fingers because of my. Oh. Why do I still be fingers? Oh, because of my primer. <laughs> go ahead and apply that just a little bit more. So I really get it on there so you guys can see the coverage. I think there's people moving into the apartments next door, so sorry for the talking. I'm not quite sure how this is shine free. Um, it doesn't look like it is, but it's like when it goes on, but it doesn't show any shine really. At least it's not looking like it. I'm going to add just a little bit more underneath my eye. I have a lot of redness around my nose, so I'm just trying to really cover that up. 
Alright, so there we go. We have it all in. We're going to go ahead and just let that set for a little bit. It is looking pretty good. How is it looking on camera? Can't really tell a difference. It's definitely a little light for me, but I think it's wearable. Alright, so this is what it looks like with no concealer on. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of concealer so that you guys can see um, the coverage with concealer and the stick. It's really nice to put on, it feels like. I really like how it goes on. I just have to cover up that redness around my nose. It's ridiculous how much I have on there. Cover up some acne. Alright, so that is what it looks like. I'm really impressed with it so far. So let's go ahead and finish up our other side of our face. And it may look a little bit even better when it's done setting. And some red spots. Let's see if I can just kind of do a design. Let's do a triangle. <laughs> what was I saying? Oh, um, some red spots are because of the beauty blender. I have super sensitive skin, so just touching my face makes it red. Uh, here goes my dog. It spreads decent. I can even just apply it straight to my beauty blender. It's looking like. So that's kind of nice. Alright. There we go. We are completely covered. That's so easy. I can't like even comprehend to you guys how easy that was. Okay. <clears throat> so, so far what I'm seeing... Is it is definitely clinging to my dry spots. That's really big. Um, the coverage is decent. It feels very heavy. Um, I would not want to layer it any more than what I just did. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, like I said, it feels very, very heavy. Let's go ahead and put concealer on our other side here. And then we'll take pictures and give it time to set, finish our makeup, and we'll see how it looks. Uh, like I said, it feels very, very heavy. Alright, so like I said, I'm going to go ahead and let everything set, blend a little bit more, and take some pictures. Alright, so my makeup has had time to set. There's not much coverage, but this is so easy, is the thing. So let's go over the pros and some cons. So, a pro is that it's really easy, of course. It is just a really, really quick, simple, um, boom, 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 and blend, 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 and you're done. So I would say if I had to be timed on this, I could probably do my foundation in two minutes, literally with this deck. It is amazing. I've never seen anything like this. I think this is the new thing. Um, like this is going to blow up and be awesome. Um, I like the price of it. $7.99. It's not over $10. I don't know why, but I like try to refuse. I try to. Keyword. <laughs> to refuse buying foundations over $10 because that is just ridiculous. I'm sorry. Look at my foundation. I mean, do I need any more foundations? No. Um, <laughs> I love that it's shine free and it sticks to that. If you guys saw by the pictures, it is completely shine free. Pictures looked amazing compared to other foundations. This is definitely shine free. Another pro in the summer, this will be fine. It's shine free, which means oil is not going to show up on your camera. It's not going to, you're not going to walk up to somebody and be like, whoa, honey, you need to go blot yourself. <laughs> um, and it, it just looks really, 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 really nice. I really like this foundation. Um, a con, you're not getting 
as much as I would like out of it. Um, that's one bad thing about it. You're not getting very much foundation. I mean, look at that. Compared to, let's see, the Dream, uh, Maybelline New York Dream Liquid Mousse Foundation, you're getting a lot more in a bottle or something like that. Um, another con probably is that it is very heavy. It feels very heavy. I would not be able to build as very much with this. It doesn't have wonderful foundation, but it's pretty good. Um, but I really like this. I'm going to go ahead and finish up my makeup. I will show you guys that. It is 11.52 and we will catch up with you guys shortly. Alright, so my makeup is completely done. Sorry guys, my tripod was being weird. My makeup is completely done. I'm going to walk through it. My makeup is nice and set, so this is what everything looks like. that's what it all looks like. It looks pretty good. It hardly has any coverage, which I'm really disappointed about that. It does not have hardly any, you guys. Uh, you can completely see my red blotches. And it's had plenty of time to set, so that's a disappointment. But, you know, whatever. It's really easy. So I'm going to go through. I pretty much did everything Maybelline New York, so my primer was Maybelline New York. My foundation, obviously, is Maybelline New York. My concealer is Bare Minerals. My eyeshadow is this fun color. I just got this on sale by Maybelline New York. This fun color, and then this fun color, and the crease. I just blended that all together, and I'm wearing the Maybelline New York, the Falsies Volume Express Mascara on my lips. I'm wearing the Wet n Wild 510A color. That just looks like that. And then on top of that... I'm wearing the L'Oreal Paris Color Enrichment Lig Gloss in 150 Naturally Nude. So, like I said, it is now 12.03. I will catch up with you guys here in a couple hours. Alright, hey guys, we're about an hour in to the foundation. And it's looking pretty good. I really like the way that it looks. It's about 1 o'clock. And I just ate a peep, so sorry about that. <laughs> but it's looking really, really good. Like I said, so we're going to go ahead and give it a couple more hours. Right. Hey guys, so I'm not sure what time it is. Let's go look. I think it's been like four hours since I've seen you guys. 8.07, I am cooking dinner. <clears throat> I just got back from my first day of driving school. It was awesome. Well, as awesome as sitting down and looking as a book at a book can get. Anyways... I wanted to um, show you guys my face and what it looks like. Sorry I'm in a tank top. It is really, 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 really nice outside. I'm sorry. I just want to look at it. See, look at that. Ooh. Does anybody else have that? It's like, okay, it's scary. Anyways, <laughs> we need to be doing some weights. Anyways, um, what I was saying was, is um, my face. It's looking pretty good. Um, I don't know if it's all off or not. It doesn't look like I'm wearing foundation, but I'm pretty good with shininess. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and take a couple pictures, roll those clips. Alright, so as you can see, there was some shine. Holy cajoles, you guys. I was not expecting that whatsoever. I can't believe it. <laughs> wow. So there is definitely some shine on there. And even naturally, without the flash, there's still shine and oils. So just natural oils throughout the day are going to happen. But I was not expecting that much. So I would definitely say it's maybe oil-free for about, or shine-free for maybe about four hours. After that, you're going to still get oils and shine. Just wanted to give you guys a heads up. You guys know that I keep it real. So, we'll catch you guys here in a couple more hours. 